Hi all! This video is the second part of our dashboard development guide. While within part 1 we made assets and devices provisioning and built a very basic dashboard, now it's time to learn about dashboard states and navigation between states, which add interactivity to your dashboard. But less words, more practice. Adding new states and navigation between them. Let's create a separate state for each building, so this state contains the summary about the asset. Open dashboard and enter the edit mode. In the lower right corner, click enter edit mode, choose manage dashboard state, click on plus and add a new state. In the name field, input this array to automatically fetch related entities' names. Give a state ID, building state for example, and click Add and Save. Now let's add the ability to drill down to building details using our Entity List widget. Click Edit Widget, go to Actions tab, now add an action. Action source would be on row click. Name this action row click for example. Type of action would be navigate to new dashboard state. Target dashboard state, building state. Click add, apply and save change. Now testing. Click on row with building A. As you can see we went to the buildings tab. As you can see with the alias and the name, each state has the right name. Running scripts for sending telemetry data. In this step, we'll add simulated device readings to display them on the dashboard. Go to Device Groups. We need to access the device entity in order to send telemetry on behalf of real device. Open the thermostat details and copy the access token. Now open the console. We have prepared a simple tool to publish device telemetry using MQTT protocol. JavaScript emulators for our devices you can find in the description to this video. Now use in the console and execute this command and do not forget to use access token of the device. Repeat the same for energy meter and water meter devices. Now, our thermostat device receives temperature, our energy meter receives energy and energy increment simulated data, and our water meter receives water and water increment simulated data. Now proceed to configuration of our building state. Let's add an alias for our devices. Call an alias as building sensors. Filter type device search query. Enable root entity. Relation type contains device type, energy sensor, temperature sensor and water sensor. Add click and save. To know more about entity aliases, please go to this video. Now move to building state and create a widget. This widget will display a list of our devices and their telemetry. Choose the cards widget bundle. Go to the Latest Value tab. In a data source, select Building Sensors and enter Telemetry Keys Energy, Water and Temperature. If you want to process incoming telemetry, you can use the Data Post Processing function. For example, use this one, which is specified in the description to this video. Using the same method, edit the time series for water and energy meters. Now go to Widget Settings, move to Advanced tab and change the title of the widget to Building Sensors List. Remove the mark from Display Entity Type column, click Add. We have created an entity widget that displays a list of our devices and their readings. 
In addition to our list, I'd like to visually see where those devices are located on a building plan. In this case, we must use the image map widget. To display the building A in devices, first of all, we need to add the building plan. For this purpose, go to building A, the attributes tab and add a server attribute, value type string, the key name would be image URL, would be the link where the building plan is hosted. Now go to our dashboard, building A, enter the edit mode and create one more alias. Name the alias selected building, the type is entity from a dashboard state and click add and save. Next step, we are adding a new widget, which visualizes building plan and devices on a map. This image map widget is located in the map widgets bundle. In the latest values tab, choose it and select the data source, building sensors and enter the keys X position and Y position. In the settings tab, edit the title of the widget Within the advanced step, configure the image URL source. I'll delete unnecessary parts of the line in tooltip example as shown in the video, so unnecessary data will not appear on our tooltips. Apply this change. And now we can see the building plan but there are no devices on edge. For each device, we need to populate the server attributes to point their location on the building plan. Go to particular device and add server attributes. X position and Y position. The value type would be the double for all our devices. and now we can see them on a building plan. However, there is one more option, which is available since version 2.4.3. We have the marker placement input map digit, which allows you to drag and drop your marker on a map or image map. Now flavoring, we've created a very beautiful and informative map widget, but it's not that interactive. Let's add an option to move between states using the tooltip. Click Edit Widget, go to Actions tab, add an action. Action Source, Tooltip Tag Action, Name Building Details, Type Navigation to Dashboard State, Target Dashboard State would be the Building State. To display the building details in Advanced, now configure the tooltip, add this line, As you can see, the building details link appeared on the map is now available within this widget. Let's go to building A. Add the state for energy meter, water meter and thermometer. Make sure that when you click, we will create separate states for each device as we did recently for buildings. Click Edit Widget, go to Actions tab, add an action. Apply this change.
using the same approach at different states for devices and also create a link for device details from a tooltip. Now, as you can see, each tooltip contains the sensor details on a digital twin of device. Now we start to configure the lowest state with device details. Let's visualize the temperature sensor data. Add two widgets, one for displaying current temperature and the other one to display the change over the past five minutes. To achieve this, we need to first add the entity aliases. First one would be the selected thermostat, filter type entity from a dashboard state. Click add and save. Go to temperature state, create a widget temperature which visualizes the current temperature. For this time, let's use the analog gauges bundle. Data source would be the entity, the selected thermostat, time series, and the key, the temperature. Within the advanced tab, change the minimum value to 0 and the maximum value to 60. Unit title would be the temperature Celsius degrees. Digits count integer part of value 2. Click Add. We've added a widget that shows the current room temperature. Another widget, which would be the time series flood, will display the historical data. Time series flood is located in the charts widget bundle in time series tab. Remove the checkbox Use Dashboard Time Window and set the custom time window for this widget to last 5 minutes and grouping interval 1 second. Data source for this widget would be the same as for the analog gauge. Change the title to Temperature History and play with advanced settings to make this float more smooth and specify the axis, the temperature. Now you can see the temperature change over the last 5 minutes. Just as I've created two widgets for thermometer, we will add two ones for energy meters. The first one, the one for current energy consumption and the other one for the historical data. As you know, we need to add the alias first and the new one will be the select energy meter, filter type entity from a dashboard state. Add the analog gauge, you know where to find it. The data source, the time series, would be the energy. Set the maximum value to 50,000. Unit title would be the kilowatts. Check the checkbox to show the unit title and make change in accordance with the video. Click Add. Voila! The widget that shows the current energy consumption is on our dashboard. The time series float for the last 15 minutes is configured the same as the temperature float. You don't need to use the dashboard time window and set the value of a real time to last 15 minutes and group in interval to 5 seconds. Data source would be the entity, the selected energy meter and time series, the energy increment. All other configurations, please follow the video to add other configurations. Change the title of the widget to Energy Increment.
and display smooth lines. And add an axis title. Now we can see the energy consumption for the last 15 minutes. And for multimedia device state, let's use the copy paste method. You may copy the widget, for example, from energy meter state. Then add a new alias. And paste the widget within the water meter state. Now change the settings of the widget, switch the data source. In advanced step, change the maximum value to 25,000 unit title to gallons. Definitely you need to show unit title. And if you follow the video, your widget for displaying of current water consumption is ready. The second widget, you may copy and paste the other widget for the historical data. Retain the time window. Switch the alias to water increment. Within the settings tab, change the name of the widget to water increment. Now you can see the water consumption in the real time and for the last 15 minutes. Contin. Stay tuned to know more about dashboard development. See you in the next video.